The Mayor's announced that London's living wage will rise by 25 pence an hour to £8.80. Pence. The aim is to encourage companies to give employees in the capital a better standard of living by paying around £2.50 an hour more than the minimum wage. But it's not compulsory for businesses and campaigners say workers simply can't afford to live in London on anything less. Here's our political correspondent, Carl Mercer. Since March, Lacey Green's been pulling pints and pulling in what's called the London Living Wage. Her bosses are the first pub group to sign up to the scheme that pays its workers above the legal minimum. It means Lacey's earning about £2.50 an hour more than she would. It's a very big difference where I can afford to do things now with my son and just like just still have money at the end of the week and things like that. And um, yeah, it's just, it's like, it's just, and you feel appreciated at work. Especially like being like a pub and everything and everyone just thinks you're on minimum wage and they try and talk down to you and it's like, no, I'm on living wage actually. This morning, Lacey swapped the bar for the stage, speaking at the event where the mayor announced that London's living wage was going up to £8.80 an hour. Do what the 432 businesses in London have already done. Pay up, pay the London living wage to your employers. They won't regret it and above all, you won't regret it either. He may be a big fan of the living wage, not so big though that he wants it to become compulsory. It helps with the loyalty of their staff, it helps with productivity, it's win-win. And I think if you, if you, went, if you went down the coercion route, uh, it would, you, you'd take away uh, the attractiveness of the scheme. And I, th I think, frankly, it is, it is moving fast now. You're starting to see many more companies take it up. It's still too few, but the message I want to take to the CBI uh, this afternoon is that they should do even more. Some businesses too have their reservations, saying paying the living wage can be harder when the economy isn't booming. We think most of this kind of thing is about a balance between competitiveness of a business um, and actually instructions from above. There are so many business, business regulations, uh, you know, employment law, employment tax, that all these changes actually make it harder for a business to operate. We're not asking anybody who hasn't got the money to pay this. If they have the money, however, London Citizens takes that very seriously. It's a moral choice. But as Boris says today, it's also a very good business choice. It makes the business cases almost as strong as the moral case. Around 20,000 Londoners will see their wages go up as a result of today's announcement. So far, just over 200 firms are signed up in London. More than half a million workers in the capital, though, don't get the living wage. Lacey is still very much in the minority. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.